everyone, so today I am actually going to redo my dip dyed ends because as you can see it is completely out of my hair and basically if you haven't seen that video I dip dyed my ends with my sister and we used the Manic Panic from Hot Topic and I have great things to say about that brand, I really liked it, um, I thought the color was really pretty, it wasn't too intense but I liked the color and I liked the pink that it turned out. The only thing is, is after about three washes it was faded, and after about five washes it was completely gone. So this is now what my hair looks like. As you can see, it's completely gone. I didn't have to chop the ends off like I thought I was going to because the color just completely washed out. Um, my ends don't even really look that much lighter, so I don't know if the bleach didn't take very well or what happened, but that's what my ends look like right now. But I wanted to actually redo the pink and the ends of my hair because I really liked the way that it looked. It just looked kind of different and now I'm seeing a ton of girls in Austin that are dip dyeing their hair and I just think it's such a cute trend for summer. So I wanted to redo it, but I wanted it to last a little bit longer. So basically, whenever I do a video talking about a product, and obviously these are products that I bought myself, I'm not being a sponsor for this video or anything like that, but I want to make sure that I update you on how they work because that product, it worked great in the moment, but then I realized that it did wash out about, you know, three or four washes later. So I want to just update you guys on that and let you know that if you are wanting something more permanent, that probably won't last very long. So what I actually was recommended to buy is the Splat, and this is in the Pink Fetish color. And I got this at Walgreens. And this actually says it's a long-lasting semi-permanent color. So it is still semi-permanent, which the Manic Panic was also semi-permanent, but it didn't last very long. So this one, um, it also says that you can use um, on unbleached hair for a subtle henna color, or you can use on bleached hair for extreme intense color. So I probably am going to bleach my ends just a little bit and then put this on there so I get a nice bright color because that's really what I'm looking for. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. But now before I do that, I also wanted to mention a few updates. I'm going to LA on Monday, and I'm actually having a boutique on Lockers, which I think I've mentioned before. It's really exciting and really awesome, and I love clothing. I know you guys know that. And so I'm actually having a buying trip in LA, and I get to meet with a bunch of different designers. I have meetings for two days straight, starting at 7.30 in the morning, ending at 7.30 at night, and literally every hour I'm meeting with a different designer, and I get to look through the clothing and just like pick out what I want for my boutique and I'm just really excited and I've never done anything like this so it's definitely a really special experience for me and I want to thank you all for all your support because you guys have helped me get to where I am and I'm very grateful for that but I was going to be having a meetup but I think I'm going to postpone the meetup until the 22nd of June because I'm going to be going back to LA for LA IMAT which I'm so excited for because I've never actually gone to LA IMAT. So I've always been planning on doing it and then something doesn't work out in the end or I like forget to buy tickets or something. But this time I'm actually going to LA IMAT and my sister Molly is coming with me. So if you want to come meet up with us then uh, you get to meet her as well. And I'm just really excited for that. So basically there's going to be no meet up this week in LA but we will go ahead and do it the week of IMAT. So just wanted to clear that up and if you have any more questions about that you can check out my Facebook fan page. I'll have all that information listed. But I guess that's basically it, so I'm very excited, and I will be seeing all of you in L.A. very soon. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my hair, and I'll just see you guys in a bit. So you're going to need some foil to wrap your ends in, and then these are all the things that come included in the box of hair dye. Baby just left and I'm laying in my bed ever sleep Cause I don't know the next time that we'll meet Looking through every window for this So first I'm going to start by mixing the bleach together. Scared that these feelings might try to flee. So I'll be skipping stones across the open sea. But I feel so free. But I know that the autumn is hoping that by the fall of Then I'm going to apply the bleach to the ends of my hair and I'm going to wrap it up in the foil. Two months go by and I'm beginning to fly Answers to we all who I am and why I trap up of my doll and want you to look alive Cause Tom and Tommy cry when I know you could thrive Yeah, yeah 
Alright, so I went ahead and took the bleach off my hair, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but I can definitely tell that my ends are quite a bit lighter than they were the first time that I bleached them with the Manic Panic dye. So this dye, so far as a little mini review, um, the bleach definitely is a lot better, I guess? I don't know, it just it made my ends a lot lighter. So I dyed um, probably about an inch and a half, almost two inches of my ends, and they're nice and light now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting the pink through my ends, and then I'll see you guys in a second. Now I'm going to apply the hair dye to the ends of my bleached hair and you may want to kind of make some higher and some lower so that you don't get a straight line of color. Again, I'm just going to wrap them up in foil and then leave it and this actually recommended that you only need to leave it on for about 20 minutes. Okay, so now that I took the foils out, this is the color that I'm left with. It's super bright, way brighter than my other color, and I love it. I think it's going to fade beautifully, and I just really like that it's a lot brighter. So I definitely have to say that the splat hair color is a lot brighter and more intense, if that's the look you want to go for. But if you want something that will wash out literally within maybe like a week or two, I would go ahead and try the Manic Panic. So it just kind of depends on what you want, and I guess what type of look you're going for. But overall, I really love the dip dye trend. I definitely recommend you guys try it if you are interested in doing it. And hopefully you had this video be a little bit helpful to you. So I will see you guys next time and thanks again for watching. Bye everyone!